Hi guys, it's time for another review. This time I will do first unboxing and the full review of a 2019 Lemax Collection building. More precisely, Bellows and the company a Blacksmith. Let's have a look around the external box, starting as always from the back side. Bellows and Company a Blacksmith, part number 95517. 2019 Lemax Incorporated. As always, detailed explanation in multiple languages of what is inside the uh, box itself and uh, very detailed explanation that you will have an LED light bulb inside and that you should use a 3 1.5 volt WAA batteries. From each side you have the exact same picture as from the front side, here we go the other side and from the main side, the front side, you have a detailed uh, images of uh, what is inside the box itself, the building, anything else. Let's open it for the first time and let's open not to damage the box okay now let's go let's remove the styrofoam container oops let's go there inside as always the notice multiple language notice and the welcome a card, the congratulation card detailing that we have just purchased an handmade building, an handmade porcelain building. Let's remove the velcro, no this is bottom, so this is up. Let's remove the velcro and top Lemax. 95517 part number as always okay voila what we have inside the buildings of course uh, the light bulb here we go with the light bulb new type of light bulb LED light bulb then we have the adapter standard Lemax adapter you have to put inside the three 1.5 volt WA batteries but you can't connect it to an AC adapter you haven't the plug to connect it to an AC adapter then what we have ah, we have the shop sign let's try to open it we have the shop sign Bellows and the company Blacksmith with a classic arm hammer. Now, the building itself, let's hope not to damage anything and let's remove the building from the styrofoam. Voila. As always, some silica gel to prevent damage from humidity. And this is the building. Okay. Now, let's go with the full review. Welcome back, guys. Let's proceed with the full review of this building. As I said before, it is Lemax part number 95517, Bellows and Company, a blacksmith. This building is from 2019 Lemax Caddington collection, so it's also a Victorian era building going from 1837 up to 1901. Let's go around the building a couple of times, let's go. This is left side, back side, right side and 
front side again one more time for your pleasure only and that's all okay let's adjust the uh, perspective mm, let's start with the dimension as always i will go with eight then width then depth this building is 6.1 inches by 6.9 inches by 6.1 inches in depth or 15 centimeters by 17.5 centimeters by 15 centimeters the weight 35 ounces or 988 grams almost a kilogram not too heavy this time but it's not a very big uh, building Blacksmiths from Victorian era can easily be compared nowadays to plumbers or electricians. And if a modern city can't survive, can't exist without plumbers and electricians, back then no village, no little village, no medium village could have existed without a blacksmith. They were the handyman of that time, and frequently each family, each commerce appealed to their services, not just for uh, horse shoes, but also for any kind of repair they would have needed. Let's have a closer look at everything, and I will start with the backside. Here we go. Tiles and roof. The tiles are almost perfect, so irregular, but perfect for the period, for the era. Every Victorian roof was almost identical to this one as concerning the tiles. As concerning the profile, the shape, this is an arcade roof and I will discuss about it in a few moments. Some wood here to sustain the roof, it's a, an almost a perfect triangle and triangles are perfect for sustaining things. And a little uh, window here and another one here, another window there. Uh, the standard round hole for the uh, light bulb, for the LED light bulb, and uh, some worn shabby uh, walls here. This is a blacksmith shop, a workshop. It doesn't to be perfect, to be precise. It's good to have some shabby wall. So from the back side we can appreciate that the building is made from wood here from wood then from uh, bricks also bricks or little rocks maybe and some plaster to cover everything and i think that's all from the uh, back side sincerely i don't understand why they have uh, done the buildings two different colors one from the left side and one from the uh, right side i'm talking about the floor but hey, it's a choice they've made. Okay, this was the uh, back side. Yes, I will talk about the chimney in a few seconds. Let's uh, uh, change the view. Let's go from this side here. Oh, and by the way, the windows here have no holes at all. At all, sorry. And that's because you don't need to have real windows from the back side. It's not the main side. But from this side here, we have some real windows. Some little arcade windows, window here and a bigger one down there. Uh, but uh, it's they have the same structure so once again from this side an, an arcade a roof a little window some shabby wall here another shabby wall there 
uh, some more wood and uh, bricks and uh, plaster everywhere and these uh, painting imperfection are good as they are because as always this building has been handmade and it is unique you won't find two identical uh, buildings two identical bellows and company blacksmith building in all the entire Lemax collection and from this side too is everything um, not, not too bad but also not that good um, from the other side the side of the chimney here we go sorry wrong yes like this okay the roof here the roof uh, same exact thing I said before perfect tiling of the roof and the chimney here we go here we go some uh, copper color on top of the roof and here, here too we have some copper color the chimney the chimney is made from uh, stones from not from bricks and irregular stones very well detailed some uh, painting here and there roughly done but it's good like this and uh, this is an imperfection of the uh, gluing uh, to get together the floor with the chimney but hey it's an handmade uh, building a little uh, windows window here same structure as before here the wall is a little bit more uh, damaged uh, but uh, it's uh, uh, well defined and uh, the uh, profile of the roof uh, let's change for a moment the perspective here we go here we go the perspective you can appreciate the copper here some uh, goldish or um, yellow color there and of course uh, from this side also the the bellows and the company uh, blacksmith uh, uh, sign with uh, uh, the classic uh, anvil and some hammer here but uh, let's proceed with uh, the the side of the building um, i've said almost everything yes uh, you can appreciate a wooden barrel and a metal uh, barrel I'm not totally convinced of the uh, period because uh, maybe it's too early for some uh, metal barrel, uh, classic oil barrel uh, nowadays, but the era was perfect for this, this kind of barrel, for, for um, a wooden barrel and from this side is also everything um, that needed to be uh, precise okay let's have finally a complete view of the front side let's start with the right side big uh, window at the four, first floor uh, with this arched roof and it is a real window some wood here and there the tiles are perfect I think that the perfection of the tiles is what is more noticeable in this building another uh, shop sign here a blacksmith uh, cross a couple of hammers shoppe <laughs> shop uh, like uh, we use nowadays uh, uh, as an indicator of an old-fashioned shop but at the uh, at that time this was a modern shop so I don't think it, it is a good idea to have wrote shop you have an also shoe and uh, a tongue also custom iron works a complete wood door here it is this is the main entrance of the uh, workshop maybe it's not just a workshop maybe the blacksmith uh, lived in there I don't know 
it was common at that time to have uh, work and um, home in the same building to have the shop and the home in the same building another metal barrel here a big giant metal hammer the walls uh, here again are very shabby and you have some metal piece there but you can't identify it very well and a wooden uh, wheel surely from a chariot or something like that the forge you can appreciate here the fire pit with some coal here that was used at the, at the time to make fire uh, and not just uh, wood and here we have uh, certainly some uh, water that was used to temper every uh, iron uh, works every iron piece they that the blacksmith uh, was making another little armor here a metal armor some more uh, tongs and a big anvil here let me just uh, rotate a little bit the building uh, not the perfect view uh, let's try this view and you can appreciate here uh, the anvil and uh, the tongue I've said before um, here we have another metal green barrel the wooden barrel some other piece of metal or maybe a chain another chain here another metal chain maybe too more too much chrome to these metals because the period wasn't mm, filled with chrome it is a modern uh, way of presenting mm, uh, metals as a very shiny a very shiny effect on metals and uh, inside the workshop down in the, in the background some more tongs some more utensils that the blacksmith would have used the armor yes the water container everything is very well detailed here we have a very big amount of uh, wood this was between a livery stable and a modern workshop for the uh, era for the period uh, all the walls are practically uh, shabby are practically worn exception for the uh, roof tiles and the chimney here and the chimney here oh yes maybe those are horse shoes connected with some chain i don't know yes they resemble two horse shoes those th those two those two yes horse shoes and uh, this is all from the ah no yes the uh, shop sign I've already talked about it, but uh, it's uh, uh, it's very well uh, done. And uh, this is all I think from the from side two. Uh, not a big amount of thing to say. Let's uh, uh, continue with pro and cons. Pros. You must have a blacksmith in a Victorian era Christmas village. I found it last year, it is from 2019, because every blacksmith shops they had previously are now retired. So it is it's the only blacksmith available on the market as concerning Lemax collection. So I had to buy it. Um, and I think this is the only pro I'm thinking of. I needed it. My village needed it. I had, I had to buy it. <laughs> I can't only uh, review perfect buildings. I also have to review some not so wonderful buildings. 
and this is the case. Cons. Plenty of cons, of course, starting from the roof. I've already said that I'm against this kind of roof. Why? Simply because uh, this is a Victorian era village, uh, an European village. And down in 1837 up to 1901, the roofs in Europe weren't arched like this. It's a typical characteristic of um, Chinese roofs. Let me show you them to you. Th those are uh, Oriental and Chinese roofs eh, from that exact same period, the, the exact same era. Everything was arched. Here we go again. Arched roofs, arched roofs. Here too, arched roof. Old uh, building, arched roof. Finally, the Forbidden City in in China. Also, just only arched roofs. And as the Lemax buildings are made in China, the sculptor made a big mistake. It's not the only building with arched roof, with an arched roof, but they continue making the same mistakes. In Europe, we haven't arched roof in 18th century. And this is uh, shocking for, for, for me. Uh, the artist should have think about it. You, yes, you are in China, but you are making a European building. Next con. Christmas village, winter village, no snow on the roof. Plenty of um, Lemax buildings are without snow on the roof even if they are from Caddington uh, collection and Caddington collection is precisely Victorian era winter village. I can't get it and I also have many other buildings in my collection uh, in this exact same case and I always put on top of them some snow not a real snow, but I make uh, snow for the, those roofs. And there is no blacksmith at work. Maybe uh, a blacksmith uh, with his hammer upon his head just uh, preparing to strike some uh, horse shoe. That would have been perfect for this building. It would have had some uh, dynamic to, dynamics to the uh, building. It's important to have uh, someone working in the workshop. Not all the buildings from Lemax have uh, figurines of someone uh, strictly connected to the building, to in front of the, the buildings, but when the Lemax put uh, figurines in front of a workshop, it is usually well done. So I lack a blacksmith at work. The metal barrel, I've already talked about the metal barrel, barrels, the green one and the blue one, those are uh, oil barrels are not, they are not uh, exactly uh, suitable for uh, this uh, Victorian era. Everything else is uh, good enough for uh, this building. I can't avoid having it, so I will uh, continue to have it. Maybe some days a new blacksmith uh, um, shop will. Uh, be placed on market by Lemax and then I will decide what to do with this uh, building. And uh, that's all I think guys, I've uh, talked too much about this building. I know I'm not a too fan of it, but you need it in your village, it's sure. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and if you wish, see you next time.